So this is just me doing a little bit of voiceover on this drone flight. I went out um, about a month ago and shot this footage purely with the action cam zip tied to the front of the drone. Now the, they are unbelievably hard to fly these little racing drones and this one is not particularly um, one of the more expensive ones and racing drones just aren't fly by wire like something like a DJI Phantom or one of your more expensive drones. Um, you can liken these things to um, like the operating systems like a DJI Phantom is a camera platform and it flies like you know it's sort of like Mac OS for drones you know it does what it says on the tin it does it really well it's pretty smart but it's not very you know configurable you can't get into the guts of it and upgrade it as far as I can tell they certainly don't look designed to be upgraded whereas these little things are essentially I don't know, there's there's like six little computers. You've got four flight controllers that are independently programmable. You've got the main flight, well, the f not flight controllers, but electronic speed controllers or ESCs. And you've got the main flight controller, which also needs programming. And you've got the radio, which again needs programming. So it's designed, while it's designed to be highly configurable, um, the problem is, is that, you know, they're monumentally hard to control you have to know what you're doing before you get it in the air in fact this particular drone that's flying now on its first flight because the electronic speed controllers were all configured differently um, just literally flipped over and buried itself in the ground which killed my drone experimentation for about three or four months and then after I got back from EMF in September um, I finally got it in the air um, with a lot of help from Jay one of the people that we met up with who uh, has flown with Mr. Seal and via Skype managed to help me configure the whole drone and sort it all out. So now as you can see on screen this is me and I think this is the bit where I go as high as I've ever dared go with a drone um, because the radio isn't a great radio and because the um, the drone's been taken apart and repaired several times um, since I've been flying it so now you know we're, we're actually having a look at me trying to nudge it forward out of the trees and then lift it right up as far as I dare fly it and because there's a lot of trees I mean a drone isn't going to come down in a straight line it's there's no hover uh, other than what you're actually doing yourself so the drone sort of literally has to come out from under the trees and I'm flying this line of sight I'm not flying it through this camera again this is just the action camera taped to it and this is about I don't know 60 or 70 meters in the air before it comes back down again and I lose my nerve so I won't be flying FPV or first person view anytime soon but what I will be doing is uh, doing a lot more line of sight flight and I'm going to try and find somewhere that's a lot more open so I'm not constantly panicking about dropping it out of the sky or dropping it on someone which would be even worse because these things have no propeller guards I'll be doing another drone overview video sometime soon and maybe we'll get some footage of the actual drone and me pointing out all the various parts of the drone so you can actually have a look at it because it does seem to be and there I am going high again does seem to be a fairly closed community and people assume that you know stuff so there's a lot of jargon it's a bit like using Linux but thanks for watching